Hey everyone, welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 discussion video. Today we are going to be getting down into some opinions. Yep, the time has finally come to once again rejoin some debates around MK11 and give my thoughts on some of the things that have been going on with the game, specifically the latest DLC character, which is Terminator. So the Terminator has been out for a little over a week and his release has not been without controversy. Certainly, I think the reception for the character has not been as positive as I thought it would be, and probably not as positive as NRS thought it would be, because the character itself has stirred up some controversy. What is the controversy? Well, basically, people have taken issue with the fact that, essentially, Terminator in MK11 is basically a straight-up clone of Jason from MKX and not even clone in that they feel similar or they play in a similar way literally to the point that some of their animations are identical down 3 is a perfect example their block stance their teleport they have so many moves again which are not just similar feeling or similar in function but literally copy and pasted at least it feels like copy and pasted. And certainly this has, you know, angered the Twitter crowd, especially. I mean, MK is especially known to have a toxic fan base on Twitter, with people bitching about everything constantly, from patch notes to Melina to whatever. But we are not here to discuss that. We are here to discuss the Terminator and him copying Jason. Because essentially, the argument has been, one side calling this whole thing extremely cheap, because he is a paid DLC character and the other side saying that it is okay because fighting games are full of legacy characters that have basically had their moves copy and pasted since like the 90s so yeah that's what I'm gonna be giving my opinion on just my opinion so you know take it with a grain of salt you don't have to agree with me but here's what I think you know I always try to have you know without being an enlightened centrist I always try to consider both sides but hey, listen, is the controversy around Terminator blown out of proportion? I think some, in some ways, yes. I mean, people are calling him the worst DLC character in any NRS game, the worst Mortal Kombat DLC guest character, whatever, you know, all sorts of shit thrown around, and I don't agree with that. First of all, if we are considering worst NRS DLC character, that has got to go to Raiden from... Uh, Injustice 2. That's gotta be the crowning jewel of unneeded DLC characters. The Terminator is well designed, he is surprisingly well voiced, uh, I like his variations and you know you cannot agree with the fact that Jason was a popular character in MKX especially after they buffed him, Even I think even Sonic Fox used him for a little bit but yeah he was a popular character and certainly there is a demand for that playstyle. Play there is a demand for that type of character. And I think people who have played Ter uh, Jason in the previous game are going to be really gravitating towards Terminator. Even down to the fact that the initial tier lists and kind of people's opinions are pointing to him being a low tier hero. So, you know, if you're into low tier characters, uh, he might be a good choice because he doesn't look to be very good uh, but you know that time will tell time will tell that's besides the point so certainly all the like really shitty accusations and negativity thrown around is not that valid because there has been effort put into this character clearly however I am of the opinion as well as many people that what they did with the Terminator is pretty cheap like you cannot argue that what they did, copy and pasting over entire movesets is not cheap. I mean, listen, they specifically said that Mortal Kombat 11 will have more downtime between DLC characters, which is evident with how the characters are releasing, mainly to give the devs extra time to work on characters, you know, get movesets right, perfect variations and all that. It doesn't look like that's exactly what's going on, because right now we had one DLC character who's a legacy character, which is of course Nightwolf, and another character who is copy and pasted over from a previous game's character. So certainly uh, the argument of what the fuck they are doing with all this free time, uh, aside from getting Arnie imitators just correct, can be made, especially looking at you know a paid DLC character, and not a 
paid DLC character that, you know, like people really want. I mean, sure, the Terminator is a popular character and NRS has been known to have crazy guest characters, but it's not like, you know, someone like Nightwolf who you could literally argue that thousands of people want him back. Like, sure, Terminator is cool, but it's not like, you know, he's gonna have people going crazy for him just to play the Terminator, uh, aside from, like, casual fans. You know, certainly the NRS fans who are fans of the older games would be gravitating towards the legacy characters. The other thing of this argument of legacy characters, again, people on the other side of this debate always say the reason that it's okay that Terminator copies Jason is because fighting games have a history of legacy characters. I mean, you look at the Ryu from Street Fighter, he has always had his Shoryuken, his Tatsu, his Dragon Punch, that's the Shoryuken, his Fireball. Uh, you know, that's something that's been literally copy and pasted over uh, from like the 90s, you know, every Street Fighter game Ryu plays the same. And certainly that is true. And again, the same holds true for like a Scorpion or a Johnny Cage as well from MK. Certainly that is completely valid and completely true. What I would argue against there is that Jason and Terminator are not legacy characters. Neither of these characters have any type of history with NRS games. Neither of these characters have been around since like the beginning of the series or have like some very strong attachment to the series. They're popular guest characters. That's it. They are put into the game to appeal to a wider audience and get people to come and check out the game. The same reason that Tekken 7 put Negan and Noctis into their game. However, those characters, if you look at a Negan or you look at a Noctis, they have original movesets, you know. Negan isn't just, I don't know, some legacy Tekken character whose moveset has been pasted onto a new character model. With Terminator, it very much feels like that's exactly what they did. And that's why I would argue that the legacy argument doesn't really work in this case, because these characters do not have a strong attachment to the series, or a strong attachment to the fans who are looking to play those classic Mortal Kombat characters. I would even say that if Jason's moveset was ported over from some other legacy MK character. You know, kind of like referring back to Tekken again, how Gigas is essentially, uh, I think, fuck, I don't know the character, but he essentially, he plays very similarly to some other legacy character. Then you could make the argument, okay, sure, they're giving just this character's moveset a new skin in Jason. But no, Jason was an original character. He had a unique moveset. So that's why it feels a little bit weird that he's been pasted over to the Terminator. But anyways, again, just back to, to sum things up. Is it cheap? I think so, yes. Has it, like, spoiled my view of the Terminator? Ah, not really. I mean, with guest characters in NRS games, I'm always like, yeah, I'll check them out. They're fun. I'll mess around with them for a week, and that's about it. I think Terminator is well done, but... Uh, the fact that he is such a blatant ripoff of Jason is a little bit cheap and looking at the future of DLC guest characters I'm not really hopeful that will change because Sindel is an actual legacy character then we have the Joker if I'm not mistaken who right now if we're going by the pattern he's gonna play like Injustice Joker uh, which I'm hoping he doesn't because he already looks shit uh, and he doesn't need Injustice Joker's shit moveset to go with that and then spawn spawn is a wild card i mean people have been memeing that he's just gonna be alien but who knows who knows hopefully it's not gonna be just alien and that meme will stay a meme but yeah that's gonna be about it for my thoughts on terminator what do you guys think have you been messing around with this character do you think it's worth uh playing him do you think it's bad that he's so blatantly copied over from Jason? Let me know, you know, I welcome all opinions, but, you know, let's just keep it civil to go against what's been going on with Twitter, because Twitter MK community is kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Anyways, thanks for watching again, make sure to like, comment and subscribe, because you know how YouTube's algorithm works, I get zero money from any MK video I make, so the extra likes and subs are always appreciated. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video and peace out. Goodbye.